Hello, we are Anastasia and Julia. We are sisters on a journey to live a self-sustainable life on our family's organic farm. Every morning we wake up early to let the animals out. Each of their special greetings makes for the best start of the day. Join us this morning on our daily routine. First, we say hello to our baby cold ducks. They live in this brooder that we built from an old trailer. It is electrified so that if any snake, fox, or goanna tries to hurt them, they'll get a little zap to warn them away. This way, they can stay cozy and safe inside. We added these cute windows that we found on the side of the road. They always get so excited in the morning and run straight to our feet. We put gum boots on the bottom of the pen to insulate it so that it doesn't earth out. They get so excited for their breakfast, but Scout and Sweet Mama, our big muscovies, normally try to steal all their food and need a cuddle intervention. Scout loves her morning snuggles and lets her feet dangle, but Sweet Mama Duck always tries to escape for more food. After cuddle time, it's finally time for the big girl's food, but the little cool ducks want some too. On the other side of the brooder, our mum's sweet Australian chicken sleep. They're going through that cute teenage stage where they have feathers going in every direction. They are still learning how to use their ladder. Uh oh, the ducks are back at it. The Cayugas and Big Cool Ducks live in this pen that we made from an old bed. Moon, Moss, Nebula and Arp are still getting used to their ladder. They don't really understand how the ladder works and which direction takes them where. They get so messy when they eat. Picasso and Pluto are up next. Pluto is shy and doesn't like to walk on the ladder if anyone is watching. 
Picasso is always first out and runs straight to the garden where he nuzzles his beak into the ground to find insects. But he never leaves without Pluto. They both love eating any fallen tomatoes, which are fertilised by their poop. Apart from when the little ones sneak off for some secret spinach, they're always at our feet, following us everywhere. Now it's time for the goats. They live in our old childhood puppy house that we converted into a goat pen. It started to get less and less stable for humans, but upstairs works as a perfect teenage goat getaway. Magnolia loves this seesaw that we made for her. We recently made this chook dome from our childhood trampoline. It is also electrified and covered in netting so that no predators can get in. We also made it crow proof so that the crows can't steal their eggs or hurt them. This is the Welsh Harlequin thing. We recently fixed it up, electrifying it and painting a mural. They always give the sweetest head bobs, which mean hello good morning in ducky language. They have the best view on the whole farm, out to the hills and banana and macadamia trees.
They only started laying recently, so each day we are so excited when we find the eggs in the laying boxes. This is Tiny Tret. She tried to hatch from her egg backwards and I had to help her out. We weren't sure if she was going to make it, but now she is the sweetest ducky who often bosses the others around. Sometimes they are so well behaved. And sometimes not. They love eating mulberries from the tree. They are special duck candy that makes them so excited. What about this? Tiny turtle. You only like the white ones, hey? After, we feed the sheep and move them to their new paddock for the day. It's the most beautiful walk to get them. This is Mulberry and her lamb silkworm. They are always either the first or the last to come when we call. Because it's tick season, each day we give every lamb a cuddle to check everywhere for ticks. This is definitely our favourite job. Magnolia always gets jealous of the cuddles and begs for some head scratches. <laughs> this is Palmyra and Silkworm.
At the moment, we're trying to teach the baby ducks how to eat pests in the garden. They eat grubs and insects instinctively, but have also started to eat our cherry tomatoes as a special treat, and the spinach has a duck height gap where every leaf has been eaten. Oops. This season, we had lots of tomatoes, potatoes, radish, zucchini, half beans, broccoli, herbs, and greens. The mango flowers have bloomed, but we think that we'll have a rainy summer, so they probably won't fruit heavily. Because we had a drought last year, we didn't get many avocados or macadamia nuts this winter, so it's all up to the weather. Julia is our main gardener, because I always get too distracted with duck cuddling. <laughs> Finally, it's time to feed us! We're going to have a duck egg omelette with greens from the garden. We normally end our morning having breakfast out with the ducks, 